I lived, bitch. Hey, what's up? It's me, your boy, Otaku Princess. My camera's wiggling because I'm on my laptop in my room. I have been doing a lot of shit. I have made a couple videos in the span that I've been gone, but they've never really been good. But recently, uh, I've, I've been stewing upon something that makes me so mad that I get this lisp. Uh, it, I've talked about it with other people I know who have the same thing as me, the same monthly crate service. Today we're going to be talking about Loot Anime. Loot Anime is a subdivision of a crate called Loot Crate that I'm sure everyone knows. It's all over YouTube. Everyone loves to jack it off. I used to get Loot Crate, um, but I'm way more of a weeb than just a nerd. So I was like, when Loot Anime came out, I was like, I gotta snatch that up. Which, it was so popular when it first came out. I remember it was the Christmas of 2016. Because I saw advertisements for it, and I was like, yo, I want that. I want that real bad. And I told my dad, I told my mom, I was like, yo, I really want to get this for Christmas. And it was so popular that they sold out of their stock, and I could not get it. And I was just, I was just an angry little beaver. So basically what happened, long story short, I got a different box service for the couple months, and then... Uh, I tried again like three months later, so I didn't get the first couple boxes, but I saw reviews for them, I saw other people do them. My, my partner, who's also on here as uh, Toe for the Gopher, got one for October of that year, and I think it was a different setup than it is now, because it, you know, when you first make a product or you first make something for people to buy, you gotta go through the testing parts, and you gotta, you know, see what the customer base wants, what people respond to positively and negatively, so I'm not gonna bash them on that. But what I am gonna bash them on is a couple different things. Let's get started. Loot Anime is a subdivision of Loot Crate. Loot Crate has multiple different things now. There's a gaming one, the regular Loot Crate, there's like a Call of Duty one, Sanrio, there's like an apparel thing now. Like it, they, they're branching off and they're growing and that's fine and great. Like that's what a company's meant to do. After you hit a certain mark, you can either continue making your product and having a loyal customer base or you can expand and reach other parts of the same market. Not like go, good for them. I'm glad that they're succeeding. Loot Crate and Loot Anime uh, all the crate services that they have all have like the same kind of like this is what we do and basically depending on the crate you get they have different set marks of like how much each item is meant to equal up to uh, and for loot anime you get four to six anime items per month according to the themes that they present to you and all of it total up is supposed to be 60 plus dollars now I'm here because I'm clearly dissatisfied. I'm very dissatisfied. And I, along with a large group of people who at least are using me to be the platform, are here to say why we're dissatisfied. Basically, every month what they at least market that you're supposed to get is a volume of manga, a shirt, uh, some other plethora of items, a pin with an online manga connected to Bookwalker. I have a crap ton. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I have a previous crate here from 2017 sometime, maybe late 2016. I can't quite remember. Um, the crate was called Delicious. And it had... So I don't... Okay. I don't know what the process is when they're selecting a theme and what animes fall under that theme. But I can tell you as a person who likes anime and someone who has been enveloped in anime for a really long time that the themes and the anime do not line up. Not even in the slightest. They used to. They used to do a pretty good job. For instance, the crate that I'm going to be comparing, the one I got earlier today, this is September's crate of 2018, which I'm getting in October, which is another thing I'm going to be complaining on. And I have all the items next to me from Delicious 2017. Delicious 2017. In total, you got about seven to eight items. Now, I am including the poster because I really, like, the original prints that they used to do were really nice. What they used to do in Loot Animes, they used to get 
artist to make a print with the mascot Yumi and they would have them doing something that corresponded with that month's theme which was really cool it was something really like treasurable um not everyone got that only the people who had loot anime and like they were really nice pieces of art I still have a couple of them they're like <laughs> they're beat up but like I did my best to keep them because they don't do that anymore and I think it's really <sighs> I'm on the fence about it because like they give you like official art like posters but at the same time like I can just get that anywhere. Delicious 2017 had Naruto, Himoto Umaru-chan, Sweetness and Lightning, and Gudetama, and Food Wars. That's five anime that all, all like more or less have something to do with food. And I know like you're like Naruto that doesn't have anything to do with food. Uh, the Naruto item might be the best thing I've ever received out of Loot Crate and like Loot Anime. I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but like, the quality is what I'm gonna focus on now. The quality versus the name brands. Loot Anime used to be so creative with the items that they selected for you and the things that you got. For instance, same anime, both from Assassination Classroom. The first Assassination Classroom item I ever got was a miniature whiteboard with three Kuro Sensei magnets that are like good quality, they still work, I still have them, and a whiteboard marker. And you could hang it up on the wall, it had magnetic strips so you could put it out in your fridge and some metal thing, and it had uh, a stand so you could set it on your desk. Great quality, I still have it. Um, there's a couple scratches on it, but like it still works. A couple months later, uh, Assassination Classroom comes back up on the rotation of anime for themes mind you there are so many anime that they have not like ever given a chance to which like I could understand I guess like if it's a case of like there's no merchandise for it but they make like really like limited edition like only to that create items which they could probably figure out a way to make like other anime items for like, I like My Hero Academia. I have the manga, I have cosplays, I have plushies, I have a water bottle from Loot Anime. Like, I have items from that series, like, and I go out of my way to get them and I like them. But I have it written down right here because I really wanted to talk about this. The number of times My Hero has been in a box so far this year since it came out has been three times. Close together, too. It was October, August, and January. And, like, I get, like, My Hero's popular, My Hero's great, like, the anime's great, there's a game that's coming out, like, there's the manga, there's everything, there's a movie that, like, did so great, I went to go see it opening night, it was awesome. But there are so many other series that deserve just as much attention and love besides My Hero. And I'm worried that, like, the reason why it's in the crate so much is because it's really easy to just, you know, shell it out to people because everyone knows My Hero Academia, or it's like easy to get their hands on the merch for it or they just don't care anymore and I'm really worried it's the third one because I know there's a lot of people out there that really appreciate this crate and if it's just because they don't care anymore and it's really easy to just shell out something that's from like a popular series then don't do it in the first place you know what I mean like this isn't a cheap crate this is like a $30 a month kind of thing and I feel like that if people aren't putting the care into it, maybe they just shouldn't do it anymore. But I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. The quality of items that you used to get in the crates from Lou Anime were superb. Like, I'm going to go through real quick, like, the items I got from Delicious 2017. Like, okay. So... This is like a little Gudetama like plush, you know, you set it on your desk and it's like, oh my god, it's Gudetama, it's so cute. Um, I've never, like, you know, it's just really cute. I really like Gudetama. I have a couple other Gudetama items. It's just like a fun little like side thing. Um, a full volume of Sweetness and Lightning. Mind you, this is like, I don't remember if this is like a limited edition cover or not because sometimes they do that like they have like special like ooh this cover is different than all the other ones um I read this and I loved it so much that I have like 
almost the entire manga series on my shelf. I have up to volume eight, and that's because, like, my bookstores don't have the other three volumes. But, like, it's so good, and, like, I appreciate that Loot Anime puts in manga because it lets people like me who like to read manga like explore more alleys and things that I wouldn't have usually purchased and like this is a really this is a good series you should check this out there's also an anime for it but I just prefer the manga we got I don't really like food wars so like I haven't really used this but a friend of mine like really likes food wars so I keep it in my cosplay box for when they like want to come to conventions with me but it's like a cosplay apron from some guy but like it's good quality like you could probably use this as a real apron at some times like not if you're using grease though that you need a bigger thicker boy for that but, like this is good quality like I've never had any of the straps like fall off I've never had any holes no stains like this is a really good quality item whether it be for actual cooking or for cosplay when I got this item this blew my mind it's an official Good Smile Company Umaru figure. I love Umaru John. I. That little bitch is my number one homie. Like, it comes with like a little stand. You just kind of like stand her there. You put her on like your shelf. It's a good time, whatever. Like, this is good quality. These cost so much money just for one, and it was in the crate. Like, it blew my mind. Like, I'm, I have the prices here, more or less, of how much of these each of these items cost in a minute, and we're going to go through it. So, like, this, Ichimatsu, whatever, um, this is, a, like, a collection of these little keychain things they used to make. I loved those so much. Like, these are my favorite ones on here, because they were so creative. I can't remember which one exactly was from Delicious, but I think it was, like, this little, like, coffee... It's like a little Starbucks looking dude. There's a glare and it sucks. But like it's a little cat. And like it says Loot Anime Cafe on it. And I think that I'm pretty sure like that's the one that was part of this crate. But like you can see like how much wear and tear is on this. Like you can freaking see through it to me. Like I loved this thing. Like these were really nice. Like some of these are metal. Some of these are rubber. And it breaks my heart that they don't do these anymore. Because they were so creative and fun. And, like, collect... Like, they were great. And then... <laughs> this bowl. It's a Naruto bowl. And you're gonna figure out why now when I was like, Naruto fit in this crate somehow, some way, And it was insane. This bowl is fought over by people in my house. Like, I have roommates and, like, other family members who live here in this house with me. And, like, people fight. Like, actually, like, yell at each other for this bowl. It's a Naruto ramen bowl. The quality's great. It's super thick, microwavable, uh, dishwasher safe. Like, I don't have any chips on any of the artwork or detailing inside. I use this bowl all the time. It's perfect portion size. This bowl's freaking great. And I know something that a lot of people say when they, like, deal with crates and, like, monthly boxes, and it's like, I don't want to get ripped off. Because I used to get a different crate called Doki Doki Box, and the first time I ever got it, I knew instantly I was getting ripped off. It was another one of those things where it's like, you get four to six kawaii items, and then, like, it's worth X amount of money. So I did some sleuthing, and, like, it's supposed to be worth 60 bucks along with, like, most of the crates are like, you get like 50 to $60 in value for all the stuff. It was like 20, barely scraping $20 worth of stuff. So I, and I was like, I'm done with this crate. This crate is not even worth my time. I don't know how they are now, but like I knew back then in like 2016, they were doing some shady shit that I was not there for. In total, for all of these items that I just showed you, uh, roughly, that's including the poster, manga, the charm, everything. After my sleuthing and figuring it all out, it's about $95 worth of stuff. Now, I don't know where, you, like, depending on where you live, anime merchandise is either more available for you or less. I live in a college town with a lot of, like, Asian students, so, like, anime and, like, Japanese quality goods, like, we can get them relatively easily. Like, not every series is available to us, but, like, for the most part, like, I can go down to my bookstore and find manga pretty easily. But, like, this is a this is a plethora of good stuff. And, like, it, it blows my mind that, like, 
I was even able to get, you know what I mean? Like you just, we live in a world today where everyone's just like, oh, you're going to get ripped off instantly from something like that. But the fact that like, these are good quality items that I use every day. And you might be like, oh, how do you use a Gudetama plush every day? I wipe my DS off with this dude. Like it works as like a phone wipe. Like it's crazy. Now I haven't opened this yet. And I thought that we could do an unboxing together. And you can see my first-hand reaction to the quality and the things in this box. I don't remember uh, all the items that are in here. I think Cells at Work is in here. That's scared. Let's jump right in to see how disappointed I am. Even open it. There we go. Cool. So the uh, the art on the box is sells at work, which is kind of cool. Uh, I have two shirts this month. I have so many anime shirts. This is one from a previous crate. My drawer is full of them. Like I'm not against getting anime shirts, but the amount that I have versus the amount that I need is a little staggering. But let's see how this goes. It's an Agretzko shirt. I do like Agretzko. She's a good girl. Um, it seems to be that kind of like that printed on material where, um, after a couple washes or wearing it, if you have like a larger chest, like I do, it's going to crack and stretch, which I don't really like, but I'm, you know, it's not the end of the world. Could be worse. Um, kind of has a weird smell, but I'm not against it. What does it say? No overtime. I can agree to that. So that's the first item. I'm not against it. Um, what is this? Another shirt by, from Ajin. This is pretty cool. Again, it's uh, this is even more that material that after a couple washes is going to just crack instantly and like peel off. I can already like see it by like pulling it apart a little bit. It's still a little tacky, so like you knew these were pretty freshly printed. Like they're not just sitting in a warehouse. Also kind of has that weird smell, but I'm not against it. Like, you know, like after a wash or just leaving it out, it's going to dry pretty fine. Um, I don't have, shockingly, that many black anime shirts. Like, this is a navy blue, and it looks black on camera, but it's not. So Halloween, you know, is October. I guess, you know, that'll work out fine for me. I see something wrapped up. Um, I don't know what it is. It seems to be a travel mug of One Punch Man. I have a Pikachu one of these. Uh, I bought. I didn't get it from Loot, and then I got it from GameStop when I used to work there. Um, it broke almost instantly, so I'm a little apprehensive about this. Um, it's shiny, which is cool. Uh, BPA free, holla. Um, let me see how much you can actually like fit. Oh my god, in here. That's why it's a twisty top. I've never seen one that's a twist top before. It's kind of cool. Um. The mouth slot's a little small, but, like, you know when you, like, want to get, like, real gulps of coffee or, like, tea, and they give you, like, these really tiny little, like, mouth holes? Not really for me. Um, but, you know, like, I could see myself having this, like, you know, going to work or... Okay, yeah, this is going to be good quality. It's made by the same people who did the Naruto Bowl, so... Everything I just said negative about it is probably going to be fine. It's never probably going to chip or break or... Okay, actually, I'm surprised. I'm I'm pleased. People in this house like One Punch Man. I like One Punch Man. Saitama's a good boy. Genos is my favorite. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased. We have a notebook from Cells at Work. I was expecting a manga, so I'm surprised. Not displeased, but surprised. Um... It's like a planner, it looks like, because it's got all, like, the measurements and, like, the key. It's got, like, length, area, mass, volume, temperature. Um, it's got a little pocket right here. So it's kind of like a planner, but there's nothing really... I guess, like, you could use this for a planner. It doesn't have lines on the pages. It's grid paper. So, but there is, like, a spot at the bottom for, like, a date and, like, writing whatever you need to. I guess you could write graphs in it. Let's we'll see at the end on the poster 
what it's supposed to be. Uh, we have a Dragon Ball Broly event. I got one of these last time. Uh, I'm probably already going to go to this because I Dragon Ball's really big with the people I know. Um, cool. Got a piece of cardboard, my favorite item in the crate. And then we got a Cells at Work poster. So I got two shirts, a cup, and a journal that maybe has 100 pages in it for $30 a month, roughly. Let's see the poster. It sells at work. They make them smaller and smaller every time. I remember the original art prints for different artists were way bigger. Um, excuse the noise. Uh, I mean, the poster looks good quality. So we got four items this month, two shirts, a journal, and a One Punch Man coffee cup. By the way, this was the crate theme this month was fierce. Um, I guess in their own ways, I suppose they're fierce, but I feel like there's way better anime out there to fit the slot of fierce than the ones that I got today. To start off, the quality isn't bad. It doesn't seem bad. Uh, the paper for the Cells at Work notebook is pretty thick. There's cute characters on it. It seems to be official. It's a Loot Crate exclusive, so I'm one of the lucky bastards that gets to write in this. The One Punch Man mug, this is fine. Uh, I really like it when Loot Crate and Loot Anime sends out um, items that I can use, like dishes, silverware cups, uh... I'm a, I'm a little good on shirts, but thanks for caring so much, you know what I mean? They advertise that you're supposed to get a manga shirt, a pin, with like some kind of like redeemable whatever, and other items. Well, it hit the other items. Uh, there's no manga this month, which I feel like they really could have used this to get like a manga instead, because the manga only recently has like been on shelves that I've seen at least in my area. And I live in New York, and I'm only like a couple hours from the city, so the shirts. I don't like. I don't know. I feel like they've made better shirts than this before. Like this is really just like a like the dude printed on a shirt. You know what I mean? Like. There was a shirt they did a couple, like a year or so ago, which introduced me. They introduced me to one of my top five favorite anime. Like, that's a big role. And I feel like that's part of the reason why I'm so hung, hung up and, like, hung over, like, their, per, like, their digression. That's the word, digression. Into this state of two shirts, a flimsy notebook, and, a, like, a mug. They used to care about the products that they sent out. And I don't necessarily feel like they do anymore. So, um, I'm just gonna, you know, quickly grab my phone and we're going to do some super sleuthing together on how much these items should be. So we're going to start where I feel like we'll be able to find the easiest amount of information on. So we're going to do a one punch man travel mug and I'm gonna like keep all these things up so a one punch man travel mug I already see one of these like listed on eBay for $18 uh, they range from about $10 to $30 so I'm gonna just be nice and put this at $20 so let's look up an Ajin t-shirt Alright, Ajin t-shirts, um, 20 to 25 bucks, that's pretty, okay. Agretzko t-shirts. So an Agretzko t-shirt also seems to be roughly $20. Alright, so there doesn't really seem, I'm gonna look up an anime notebook. That's great. Anime notebook. Shopping. Alright, anime notebooks. Oh, that's a really cool one. Focus! Uh, anime notebooks. Anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks. 
So it's 40, 60, and 75 dollars. Okay, so according to my research, these items in total should be 75 dollars. But as we all know, t shirts with anime stuff on them, if you've ever been to Hot Topic, GameStop, anywhere that sells this kind of stuff, is always horribly overpriced. I never buy my t-shirts in person if I go to Hot Topic or anywhere that sells anything I like. I'll always go on the app or I'll look at the store later because it's always 20% cheaper. Same thing with travel mugs. Just buy them when they go on sale. It's great. If I'm going to pay $15 for an anime notebook that looks like this, I bought a cheaper Oron High School Host Club hardcover spiral notebook at a convention. And as you all know, conventions always hike up their prices because we're little idiots. I like to run around and because we're at a convention and it's got to be real and rare, we're going to buy it. Am I satisfied? Am I satisfied with two t-shirts, a mug, and a notebook? No, I'm not satisfied. And... Now that you've seen where Lou Anime used to be by giving, like, cool manga, bowls, apparel, figures. Oh, my gosh. When they were doing their figures, they started off so great. The Madoka figure was my favorite. They did a Madoka figure earlier this year. Great quality. Um, I gave it to a friend of mine because she likes Madoka Magica way more than me. And... They just, I wish they would go back to that. And I don't know if it's because money's being cut from them or if there's like a management like change or something, but they really just, they've, they've declined so far. And like, I am going to probably like, I'll put this up, but I'm also going to write a review because they always send out surveys and like, what can we fix? And I really feel like they can fix a lot because this is not worth my money or my time. And that's just the truth of the matter.